She-Hulk is the newest entry into the MCU and is dropping its first episode on Disney Plus tomorrow. She-Hulk Attorney at Law follows Jennifer Walters as she navigates the complicated life of a single 30-something attorney who also happens to be a green, 6 foot 7 inch, super-powered Hulk. I was given the opportunity to see the first four episodes of She-Hulk, so today I'm going to give you my thoughts and review of the first half of the season. So I'll be honest, um, I haven't been a big fan of the marketing for this show. The trailers didn't do anything to pique my interest. Aside from just the weak CGI, I didn't really love the overall tone they seem to be going with. And unfortunately, a lot of those fears that I had from the marketing were affirmed uh, with these first four episodes. I found it to be pretty messy and sloppily produced with a weak, meandering plot and humor that did not land as much as I would have hoped. But as always, let's first start off with the things that I liked about the show because it's definitely not all bad. There were definitely some elements here that I actually quite liked and was surprised by. Tatiana Maslany, she is a star. She is absolutely perfect for this role and amazing as the lead here. She has so much natural charisma and is easily able to carry the show on her shoulders. She has really great comedic timing and immediately captivated me with her screen presence. She's easily the best thing about the show and perfectly nails what this show is going for. The other performers here are great too. Mark Ruffalo, we're able to see him bring a more comedic side to the Hulk. Same with Benedict Wong as Wong, always great seeing him pop up. And Tim Roth, it was great to see him return as the Abomination as well. Another thing that I really appreciated about the show is that they didn't go huge scale, massive stakes with it. We've been getting too much of that with recent projects. So this is just a refreshingly small scale, low stakes and simple story. And there's something really nice about that. This show knows exactly what it is and what it needs to be. And it doesn't try to be anything more than that. I also like that they really lean into the TV show element of this show, if you know what I mean. Most of the other MCU shows we've gotten have kind of felt like long, unfocused six hour movies that they split up into these episodes. Whereas this really does feel like an episodic show. It feels like a TV show sitcom, especially when you consider that each episode kind of has its own story to it. There is an interconnectedness to all of these episodes, but they also kind of each have their own little story and adventure to them. That's really nice to see in the MCU. I think this is gonna work really well being a nine episode show, whereas the other shows kind of felt like a mix between a TV show and a movie and it never quite works this show will probably feel a lot more cohesive and like it fits the medium of a TV show. And finally, I do think that the humor here um, really does land at times. There are some hilarious little bits sprinkled throughout these four episodes. We haven't seen the MCU go like full sitcom comedy before, and that just opens the doors to some really hilarious jokes and self-awareness. All right, now let's talk negatives. Okay, so for the most part, I found this to be kind of messy and all over the place. In these first four episodes, which are all about like 30 minutes or less, they're very short. We're jumping around, being introduced to new characters, new plot points, new legal cases. We have Abomination showing up. So many different things are being introduced, yet none of them are given enough time to develop or given a chance to breathe. It feels very choppy and unfocused because of this. Even Titanium, who's like She-Hulk's biggest villain in the comics literally shows up for one scene and we have no idea as for when she's going to be showing up next. She's supposed to be the overarching villain of this series yet she doesn't even really have a presence as of yet. And even the whole aspect of Jennifer Walters becoming a Hulk, how she learns to deal with that, how that impacts her life, how she learns her new Hulk abilities feels very rushed. And by the fourth episode, we don't really have an idea for the path that the show seems to be heading in. We don't have an idea as for what the overall story is gonna be, who the overarching villain's going to be, what Jennifer Walters' character arc is going to be. It just kind of feels like middling comedic side stories. And because of that, I found it hard to become super invested into this story and into these characters. Also, I hate to say it, but the visuals here are very hit or miss. I hate to say it because I know that Marvel VFX artists are being stretched way too thin nowadays, 
but they're pretty weak. Both the work on She-Hulk herself and other CGI elements often looked very TV budget, more so than really any Disney Plus show we've seen so far. Sometimes it looks pretty decent, but at others it looks like She-Hulk is a big Sims character walking around with no soul. It kind of took me out of the show at times. And yeah, the humor here doesn't always land, at least it didn't for me. By design, the show is very meta and self-aware with its comedy. So much so that She-Hulk often breaks the fourth wall and even references you watching the show. But unfortunately, the comedy made me cringe more often than it did laugh. It's such a tonal shift from even the type of comedy we've seen in the MCU so far. It's very comedy forward and less story forward. And that's not in and of itself a bad thing, but I thought it was overly goofy. Even characters we've seen before like Hulk and Wong, even Abomination, just feel like dumbed down, more goofy versions of their existing selves. So yeah, she hulks off to a bit of a rocky start, at least for me personally, but I have hope. I have hope that it could improve over the next five episodes. We're only halfway through the season. A lot of things could improve over these next five episodes. But as of now, I'm going to give the first four episodes of She-Hulk a five out of 10. But hey, if you're excited for the show, if you saw the trailers and those piqued your interest, then I really do think you'll enjoy the show. It's very much what the trailers promised. But if you're like me and the trailers didn't quite work for you, then this might not be the MCU project for you. So yeah, make sure you check out the first episode of She-Hulk, which will be on Disney Plus tomorrow and once you do let me know down in the comment section what you thought of episode one so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any of our uploads here on iCrave network and i will see you in the next video see ya